Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. As you can see, we are sitting here in the 7150 here on Field 74, planting some corn in the rain, of course, because it wanted to uh, rain today, apparently. So I got the field all opened up, got it started. So now we have all of our end rows done. So all we gotta do is our up and down passes our uh, north south passes hopefully we'll be able to get most if not all of this field done today that is the goal that's the hope anyways so we'll see just what happens here I did knock out that little corner over there um, just because I figured it'd be kind of pointless to sit there and do a few short passes because that's really all they were so but I did leave that corner over there open because it is a much larger corner but we're gonna go ahead and get as much of this knocked out as we can be nice if this rain would quit but unfortunately it is not And I am not too sure if there is a console command to stop the rain or not. I tried looking, but I couldn't find anything, and I just decided, heck with it. I'm not going to mess with it anymore, so. Tractor's starting to get clean, so is the planter, because of this rain, which is, I guess, all right. We're slowly knocking out our tasks that we need to get done. I mean, granted, we could have things done a lot faster if I did a lot more off camera, but. Huh. I feel like this is kind of better. It is kind of difficult to line this up with uh, no lines when sitting on the next pass, but just kind of guesstimate it, I guess. Um, so let's take a peek here and look what it shows for fertilizer. So our wheat is popped up and growing. Our sunflowers are popped up a little bit as well. Um, soybeans are not up yet. Uh, okay, it does show, okay, these ones are fully fertilized, this one, it's only showing one round of fertilizer, but that's okay, um, they'll be well enough fertilized. Plus, this fall, we will be going over with the, uh, Blue Jet side dresser, we'll be going over with that, put down some fertilizer, and then we'll be fertilizing again in the spring when we plant. So we'll be 
next season we should be uh, all set on fertilizer that is the goal anyways Um, I did also download quite a few new mods. Uh, I got a bunch of Busters community mods. And in here, uh, here we got, this one's just a storage. Um, but we got seed storage, we got dry fertilizer storage, we got lime storage. So uh, we could be putting these down. Uh, we could throw these down in the yard and get rid of the bins that we currently have. And put those down instead. Um, after this season anyways, um, this one's just a silo. This is a grain leg, which, uh, I do want to look at getting a grain leg, but we don't need anything this large right now. Um, and then we have herbicide production, so we can make our own herbicides. Uh, we can make manure, we can make, um, I think this just makes dry fertilizer. And then we have liquid fertilizer, um, and then we have pig food production, uh, seed production, then we got a few buildings, uh, we got a truck shed, we got a harvester shed, large equipment shed, uh, this big guy here, and then another large one, and another large shed, and then there's a Quonset, which we already have a Quonset, um, the Quonset that I have is a little bit better than that one, because the door actually works, this one the door does not work, um, and then we have TMR production as well, if, um, you know, if we were running a large enough operation to where it'd be kind of a pain to sit and make trailer load after trailer load after trailer load of TMR, we could place that down. Uh, but at the moment, we aren't running a large enough operation. Uh, we could we could do the uh, pig food production because you know we are running the pigs. We do need to make food for them, but uh, for the time being. I think we'll just stick to buying trailer loads of pig food um, until, until we have a little more money, we're set up a little bit better. Um, our farmyard is also filling up quick, so we may have to expand to the other side of the uh, section line uh, next to our farm, so who knows, we'll have to see what, uh, what happens I guess. So the planter that I do want to pick up um, to replace this one is, which one is it now? Um, we do have the 1255 early riser. This is 12 meters, so this is just a hair bigger than our grain drill. Um, this one's about the same size. This guy looks pretty nice. I like how this one looks. Um, I haven't played with this one yet, so I don't know, you know if it direct seeds or not. Um, but we do have DB60. And we also have the John Deere 1770. So I guess if we were to go... Oh, this one's a lot bigger. This one's 15 and a half, so... That's even bigger than that case still. But I don't know. We'll uh, we'll find out. I'll have to play with, play around with the corn planters uh, on a testing save game once and see what, uh, see what, see what happens. I guess. Okay, I'm gonna open that back window up. So we're slowly but surely getting this done. A lot of long passes. So this is the field that we're mainly going to chop. Um, what I'm going to do 
is we'll probably combine a couple rounds around the field and then we'll um, use the corn chopper and do some up and down rows so this field will probably end up combining by hand instead of using course play so we're probably not even going to bring the grain cart over to this field uh, or I could set the grain cart up on course play something like that uh, or another thing I can do too is I can set up a course play course for the combine set it to do three rounds around the field or you know however many rounds I want to go with the combine and um, probably I don't know we could set the combine and go around a few times and um, probably yeah we'll probably do it that way uh, run it that way Okay, so then we'll just probably probably make a separate course then for the chopper because what I want to do is I want to set the chopper up on course play and then we'll just hook uh, maybe like the case or something like that hook something up to the chopper wagon and then we'll um, run the chopper wagon ah oh, come on didn't want that to happen Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather run the chopper wagon separate from the chopper, because otherwise we're stopping the chopper, we're driving the chopper back and forth. Just be a little easier, and it'd be a lot faster to use a tractor, because uh, the tractors can I think drive a lot faster than that combine can. Um, another thing I wanted to mention too, so instead of using this Draper header, which is a lot newer style of a header than our most of our equipment. Um, I do have this John Deere 600 pack. We can pick up this John Deere 635F. It's the same size as our 35 foot. Uh, it's 0.1 meter bigger. But uh, we do have this. This header kind of goes with um, our farm setup, not to mention our combine, a little bit better. So I was thinking we could trade. Uh, we could hook this one up, take it to the dealership, trade it in. We could pick up this 635F and pick up... Um, pick up another uh, header trailer like this one here uh, like the one that we already have or we could make uh, yeah we could probably just use that one um, I don't think we'd need to get one of the unreferred ones quite yet um, and then another thing I wanted to get or look at getting to is get maybe like the John Deere 90 or this Massey Ferguson 711 uh, skid steer because what I want to get that for is I want to get that and I want to get, where is it at here? I want to get this uh, skid steer bumper hitch adapter. It's basically, you know, having a, uh, oops, wrong button. Um, it's basically just something to use to move equipment around in our sheds, which will be kind of nice. It'll be it'll make things a lot easier for moving stuff around in the sheds when you know we got to dig something out that's in the back or put something in the back. Um, I guess I didn't even look now how much these skid steers were. Uh, the John Deere 90s 25,000. They're both 25,000. So that is something that I want to look at doing. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Should we get the John Deere 635F, make it fit our setup a little bit more than, a little bit better than the uh, Macdon does, uh, and just trade the Macdon in, get that 635F and a uh, header trailer, or keep the Macdon and just use that? And should we get a skid steer to use for um, 
putting stuff into the sheds. Um, that or I might just pick up the skid steer anyways. Uh, I'm probably going to pick up the skid steer anyways. Just because it's going to make things a whole lot easier. Um, to move around. Because to try and get in with these tractors all the time. You know, especially like with this tractor having the duels on. It might not be as roomy in the sheds as it would be, you know, for that skid steer. It may not be as easy to get into the sheds with this as it would with that skid steer. So, you know what, let's just go ahead. We're going to go with the John Deere 90. Um, warning triangle. Yeah, we can go with a warning triangle. Oops, wrong way. Design standard forestry uh, let's get it in the forestry because then it kind of seems like it has a somewhat cab it's got some odd controls in it yes we'll get that guy and then we'll go ahead and jump over here skid steer attachments and we'll pick up this bumper hitch adapter So we're just going to go ahead and set him up on the course play course. Maybe. If I can get my HUD to pop back up. There we go. Farmyard. So it'll take this guy way a uh, while to get back to the farm, running only eight miles an hour. So but uh, we'll just go ahead and get him set up to run back to the farm. Well he does whoa, what are you trying to do there, bud? I think I, I think it got stuck on me or something there for a minute and we'll get back in this all right we're back to rolling now so man I want this rain to go away when does it go away Still raining, still raining, still raining, holy smokes, okay. I guess we'll just go to noon then and call it good. We're going to be doing all of our field work in the rain, I guess, for today, so. It's a wet spring. Let's see, we got how long left? No, ten minutes. So if we might get maybe half of this field done. So what I'm probably gonna do off camera after this video, you know, we'll get as much done as we can in this video. And then next video, what I'm gonna or what I'm gonna do between this one and next one is I'm going to get a majority of this field done. And then that way in the next video we can finish up the last maybe two passes of this field or something like that. I'll you know, I'll leave maybe two, three passes on this field. 
and we'll get those done and then we'll get field 74 planted or uh no this is field 74 76 we'll get 76 planted so that way that is uh done and out of the way and um then planting is going to be done for this season which will be nice to have out of the way Cause, uh, not sure about you guys, but I'm getting sick of planting. That's all we've been doing for almost two weeks. Huh? No, I was passed out. Yeah, I know. I heard. So since, oh, no, nah, never mind, I guess. We'll just keep running the way that we are. We'll just skip over to, over there. I mean, we are just about halfway through our first round of passes. You know, we have probably about half of this field planted now. Hopefully we can get a decent amount of silage off of here. I want to try and fill that harvest store. Um, that's about 500,000 liters of silage. So, I mean, I would think that that'd be enough silage to get us through to next fall. I mean, if we do run out of silage, we'll just have to kind of make do with uh, grass and straw. <clears throat> Which I think I think you can make TMR out of just grass and straw if I remember correctly um, Should be able to I'm pretty sure if you mix the two it makes TMR But you know regardless we'll uh, we'll get something figured out with it And two, you know it'll help it can help uh, if we feed because I think grass and silage fall under the same spot don't they oh no it's hay and silage so we can't really feed grass in place of silage because I don't plan on tedding the grass to turn it into hay I just have no desire to be doing all that because um, I mean in real life you let the hay sit or the grass as it would be in this case you just let it sit for a couple days depending on what it's cut with and then you're good to go rake it bale it you know like uh, when we were using conditioners and stuff in swathers we usually have to let it sit for two sometimes three days depending on how thick it was but like with our you know the current setup that we use using uh, two Rouse 18 foot double mowers uh, using those where it's just dropping that hay straight over it's not bunching it up uh, then we can usually go back the next afternoon and we can rake it and bale it right away or we can go back in the morning and rake it and by afternoon it's ready to bale um, that's something that I that would be nice to have here in 19 is um, a sickle mower like you know a double mower um, might be something I may look into modeling up and in gaming in the future possibly um, I know I have seen I think I've seen a sickle mower out for 19 um, kinda like the ones that you know were in the old school farming pack way back in FS 13 I think it was that they first came out yeah I think it was FS 13 that that first came out um, you know I'm pretty sure I've seen that same the same mowers from that pack out for 19 um, but even if they're not I mean it wouldn't be hard to figure it out um, you know I guess it'd be s same as setting it up as a mower just instead of making you know the output uh, area so small it would just be the same length as your cutting area that would be about the uh, only difference but to me I would I would like to see that in game 
That'd be kind of a fun thing to have in game. It'd definitely be nice if I could uh, program a button on my controller for GPS, but fortunately I cannot. It's kind of annoying. So one more pass and we'll have half of our uh, first round of rows done. We've still got another four minutes until the timer goes off. So managing to get a decent amount done in this video. Oh, I see our skid steer there going down the road. Just chugging along eight miles an hour. So that'll come in handy for our next video because tomorrow like I said I want to finish up planting so um, we'll be able to use that uh, skid steer right away to put this planter away uh, in the uh, machine shed that we got on the north side of our yard so that'll come in handy that'll make it a lot easier to get this put back in the shed uh, we could actually probably put the corn head back into the shed. Um, we probably will have enough room uh, to use the skid steer to put that corn, this corn planter back in with the corn head in there. So another thing too, if we do get that 635 uh, header. Uh, we can throw it on the header trailer. We can put that header trailer into one of the sheds. So then that's, you know, that's one less header that'll be sitting outside. Um, we can probably put the sunflower header inside too. Uh, now that we have that skid steer, it might be a little easier to control that swivel on uh, that um, header trailer for the sunflower header. It might make it a little bit easier. Uh, to kind of put it in there because we have a little more control over it. And I've been noticing, I think this is actually a f arable field beside us here. Because, uh, I mean, it's covered in grass, but if you look, you can kind of see the difference. Um, and it shows here, too, that it's owned by us. So... We could, next season, plow that up and we'd have another cornfield, or you know, another field in general, I guess. Uh, then we'd be running 13 fields uh, because we can't actually really cut that grass because uh, this is just kind of decorative grass, so to speak. It's not really mowable. Um, I mean, we could go in, we could plow around uh, once around the edge of it and then I could go back in with the sculpting tool and turn it into an actual grass field um, if I wanted to I mean we could have another hay field but pretty sure that we have enough hay fields for right now uh, we have quite a few hay fields uh, to go through so we should be plenty good on hay slowly chugging along with this corn we're getting there little by little eventually we'll have it done <laughs> But yeah, so uh, like I said, I will get us down to where we got like two passes left. So that way we can uh, um, get this field done and get field 76 done in the next video. And then we should be able to get uh, this tractor and corn planter cleaned up 
get them both uh, put away in the shed and um, then we'll be ready to start doing some spraying uh, we have 74 and 76 to spray with fertilizer and then we'll have to go fill up with uh, herbicide and go over all of our other fields but uh, so we got a lot of work ahead of us to do so we're gonna stop for the day that's gonna do it uh, tomorrow we'll come back like I said we'll get this field finished get the other field finished and get some stuff uh, put away and squared away and get on to the next project. Thanks everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to, be sure to subscribe if you have not already. Make sure you turn on the post notifications if you have not already. It will notify you every time I have a new upload. And make sure you check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, all of my social medias, and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see y'all tomorrow.